We're very excited to present for auction this October a selection of works from the late Peter and Regina Strack collection. The collection is a realization of the passion of Peter and Regina Strack and their combined vision which saw them accumulate some of the best pieces of Namibian art. The collection is dominated predominantly by Adolf Jensch, uh, Fritz Kramper, um, as well as a number of other Namibian artists, John Muffin Geyer, um, Axel Eriksson, and Cole Osman, among others. The collection also includes some South African artists, J.H. Pianif and Alexis Preller. Strack, when he was a young boy, was very fortunate to have met um, Adolf Jensch who took him on as his student. And this is when Strack really began to hone his skills as an artist and collector. Although he pursued a career in architecture, his love for, for art and his own artistic uh, activities never diminished. Initially exploring religious themes, he later turned to, to sculptural works uh, inspired predominantly by natural elements and, and animals such as birds and fish, and produced these exquisite finely crafted uh, palm wood, wood sculptures that ultimately led to his participation in the uh, Sao Paulo Biennale in 94. Major highlights from the collection being offered are four rare Yench oils. These are rare as Yench was very reluctant to part with his best work, particularly if he felt that a buyer had commercial motive. He himself had no real materialistic inclinations and would prefer to give a work to someone he felt really admired it. As a result, much of Yench's um, works were stored in a barn um, at his, his dear friend's, uh, the Van Funkers farm, with whom Yench lived for many years. Um, and sadly, in 1975, the barn caught fire, destroying much of Yench's output from over 40 years. We have a wonderful watercolor called Arid Landscape with Trees, which was actually in the barn when it caught fire. And you can see evidence um, on, along the edges of the work where it has been a little singed. This work, uh, Eibenstein, Southwest Africa, was painted in 1943 when Jensch um, went to stay with the artist Marion Croft on her farm uh, at Eibenstein near Dordibus. It's a wonderful example of work painted at this time and depicts the Namibian landscape at dusk as the first stars begin to emerge. It was in the museums of Dresden that Jensch first came into contact with the Chinese vertical works in the form of, of hanging scrolls. Jensch would say that these works gave the viewer the sense of traveling through the landscape. In this work, Jensch, um, with his calligraphic brush marks, describes the dry riverbed of the Schafrafir, or Scarp River. This work again, he depicts the, the same dry riverbed, uh, typical in the winter months of, of southwest Africa. A rare break from the usually parched images of the southwest African landscape that uh, Jensch painted um, is this work, uh, Flay on Farm Tierfelsbach. It was painted on Tierfelsbach Farm on a six-month stay with his dear friends, the Van Funkers, and during the the rainy season, the flay would fill up, uh, turning those dry yellow grasses green and lush uh, and bringing life to the area. It was Jensch's practice to document the landscape in its various moods. Further to these four oils are a selection of exquisite watercolors, uh, a medium for which Jensch is perhaps better known and one that he really only painted in, in his later life. It was during his retirement that uh, Peter Strack uh, renovated the family home um, into a living gallery for his collection. And in this wonderful uh, photograph, you can see Regina Strack sitting at the dining room table with these three works hanging behind her. As Olga Levinson said in her biography of the artist, where modern art screams, the paintings of Jensch whisper.